Organisms altered by gene editing or traditional selective breeding are typically less able to survive or reproduce, which effectively prevents those alterations from spreading in the wild. Scientists at Harvard's Wies Institute have shown how the CRISPR-Cas9 gene editing system can be used to build a gene drive capable of spreading particular alterations in the wild. This technology could be used to eradicate insect-borne diseases, empower sustainable agriculture, and promote ecological conservation. CRISPR gene drives include an edited version of the target gene and additional sequences with the DNA cutting Cas9 protein and guide RNA genes. When an organism carrying the gene drive mates with a wild counterpart, the offspring inherit one altered copy and one original copy of the target gene. The guide RNAs then direct Cas9 to cut the original copy, which is repaired by copying the altered gene and gene drive sequence in its place. Because the organism now has two identical copies of the alteration and the gene drive, one on each chromosome, all of the offspring will inherit both components. The same process will then be repeated in subsequent generations, causing the altered gene and the gene drive to spread through the wild population. To ensure that scientists can safely study gene drives in the laboratory, Wies Institute scientists have developed proactive safeguards to prevent them from accidentally spreading in the wild and causing unintended side effects. The first safeguard is to split the two components of the gene drive and include only one of them in the altered gene. For example, an organism carrying a split gene drive might have the altered gene together with the sequence encoding guide RNAs. When it mates with the laboratory organism carrying the Cas9 gene, the drive is active, causing the alteration and guide RNAs to be inherited by all offspring. But when it mates with a wild counterpart that is not carrying the Cas9 gene, the gene drive does not function. The second safeguard is to insert an artificial sequence in the target gene of the laboratory organism. The gene drive is then constructed using guide RNAs that direct Cas9 to cut only the artificial sequence, so it only works in the engineered laboratory organism, but not the wild population. As an additional safeguard, the team has developed a way to undo an alteration created by an earlier gene drive. To do this, they would first need to initiate a gene drive. If later on they wanted to reverse the imposed genetic changes, they would apply another gene drive to cut out a unique gene sequence found in the first gene drive. This would then reverse the original genetic alteration using the latter gene drive to eliminate the former gene drive across the population. The team recommends that all laboratories conducting gene drive experiments incorporate at least one of the described safeguards. Together, these advances offer a way to safely explore the potential of CRISPR gene drive technology.